Welcome to Keys on Bar Regina. I am Flyny. Let's get straight into it. We're starting with a basic two. I'm gonna start with my right leg, but feel free to start with your left leg to mirror me, or even feel free to do it on both legs so that it makes your brain work a little bit. We're starting with a basic two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we're going into an opening towards the back. You're gonna step back, but instead of stepping directly back, you're stepping into an opening and then doing your weight transfer fast and coming back slow to the middle and opening again in 45 degree and coming back slow into the middle. If you don't know those steps that we've just done, you can check out the Beginner Kizomba tutorial I have on the channel. It has all those steps in there and it also has how to move the hips. So let's get going. We're doing basic two and then the opening. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and open back and come back front and open open back and come back front. Let's try this with the music. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and open and slow back. Open and slow back. One more time. Awesome, good job. So let's keep going. You came back, tack attack, tack attack. You came back here. So all your weight is on this leg. Now you're gonna use that leg to go forward. So I'm gonna step forward, then step forward, but with a turn. So you want to step and then sit on the side here and then step turning back. One more time. We're stepping forward, stepping forward and sitting on the side. So there's a little turn and then stepping towards the back. So that from here, what's happening is that I'm doing a small cha-cha, two small steps that are gonna go faster. They're going on the half tempos. Okay, so one more time, we're going one, two, three, four, and five. Let me show that to you on the side. We're here, we're going one, two, three, four, and five. And then when we're back, we're coming back around the same way. So I'm stepping forward, forward, and turn. Then stepping towards the wall, cha, cha. Then stepping forward and sit on the side again, stepping towards the front and cha, cha. Make sense? So everything together, we're going one two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one. From the side, we're going one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one. From the back, we're going one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one. Let's try all this with the music. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one. Very good. Let's try it one more time, and this time I am not counting. Awesome. Okay, let's keep going. We have a little bit more to do. So we came back here on one after our syncopation or cha-cha. The real term is syncopation. Then what we want to do, we're going to use that as our first step and we're going to point forward a little bit as an angle. Not forward like this, but just a little bit as an angle. And we're going to use that foot to push our hip up like this and come down. Up and come down. Point, push up, come down, step to the middle, and then you're transferring your weight and taking your other foot, point back, push your hip up, come back to the middle. And we're doing that twice. 
So we're going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the time when you want to express yourself. You want to do something with your arms. So you can put your arms on the head, on the back, on your heart, or even up in the air. It's really up to you. Whatever you feel comfortable with, just do it with confidence. Here is what I am doing. I'm going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Everything from the beginning up until there. Five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. So let's try this with the music. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more time. This time I am not counting. Awesome. Great job on this. Let's keep going. If you have any questions, make sure to write them in the comments. I answered all the questions, so don't hesitate to do that. I know I said the last step is a point and tap with the hip up, but we're going to modify that a little bit. So we're going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And instead of pointing and coming back, we're going to step all the way towards our back leg. You're gonna put all your weight on it. Then you're gonna cross forward. So one more time, we're going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then from here, you're crossing forward and we're going into a little bit of a compa type of motion where we're swinging our hips side to side but at the same time we're moving changing our direction with this this whole movement it's composed of several simple things but you have to do them in the right order to get it so basically you want to go a bit lower on your legs or you want to bend your knees a little bit more and this is what's happening i'm pushing my hips side to side so i'm not pushing them like this it's an up and down with my hips, but really making sure that I have like that swinging effect on it. Okay, so this is it. Then I'm using my torso to go from one side to the other in opposition with my hips. So when my hips are here, I'm pushing my torso that way. And then when my hips are here, I'm pushing my torso the other way. So then this is what's happening. Tac, tac, tac. Tuck, 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 tuck. It looks a little bit weird that way, but you'll see how it comes all along together. The last part of it, you are going to put all your weight on the ball of your feet. So normally you should be able to bring your heels up whenever you need to. And then the only thing that's happening is you're gonna shift your front from one side to the other, one side to the other. So you're kind of twisting like this, changing your body direction. Okay, so if I put everything together, we're here, and then I'm going pop, 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 and chuck, 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 chuck. Do not hesitate to rewind and try this again until you get it. Everything together. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and five, six,
six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's try this with music. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. Great job. One more time. This time I am not counting. To learn the second part of this routine, click on this video.